Hey fam, my name is Akira and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is going to be a little bit different because if you read the title, you will see that I am decluttering all my lip glosses today. I figured while I do this, I'll give y'all like a little explanation on what's going on with my channel because if you would have noticed, you would have seen that I haven't really posted in like a few months and there's a lot of reasons why. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. So first things first, I'm gonna first give y'all a little rundown of what's going on. So first of all, I moved. Um, as you can see, this is not my normal area of filming because I moved states. I don't live with my parents anymore. Now I live with my boyfriend and like it was a whole thing. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't filmed in a long time is because there was just a lot going on. Um, secondly, I started feeling like I was starting to pigeonhole myself into kind of like a one trick pony to where all I could do was review just lip gloss. And at this point, I've tried so much lip gloss, I can tell within the first like 10 seconds of putting it on whether or not I'm gonna like it. So it was becoming harder and harder to make a full on video um, about different lip glosses. I do have like two packages left um, that I haven't even opened yet. Um, and I'm gonna include them in this video because at the very least, I will be able to tell you if I like them or not. Um, I also did film an entire video before I left and I watched it back and I simply didn't like it. So I'm gonna give you my opinion on those lip glosses as I go through them too. Um, spoiler alert, I'll show you which ones they are, but they were, they were okay, they were good, but they were just like average. They weren't bad at all. And if you wanna buy from them, buy from them. But um, they weren't groundbreaking and astonishing. They were just average lip gloss. Um, and yeah, so now as far as where my channel is going, I wish I could tell you, I honestly don't know. Um, but I'm gonna try a few different formats, a few different types of videos. And as this is YouTube and I do have a comment section, obviously y'all will tell me whether or not you like certain types of videos. Um, and maybe I'll start to tailor it um, closer to what y'all wanna see. Um, I do think I'm gonna start reviewing uh, like lip gloss, Instagram pages, pages, Instagram pages, um, maybe small business Instagram pages in general and stuff like that. Um, give my opinion on like just looking at, you know, what they present to the public, what I buy from them or not um, and stuff like that. But we'll see. I don't really have a clear idea yet. Um, but yeah, with all that being said, um, let's get into decluttering lip glosses. <laughs> so to start, um, this is, this has all my lip gloss in it. This top, this top drawer and the bottom drawer have lip glosses. They're separated by squeeze tubes and wand tubes. Most of them did come from, um, a small business of some sort. Um, first I'm going to divide them into colors and then I'm going to choose what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to toss. So I'm going to close up on the lip gloss for the rest of the video and just talk about, you know, what I'm keeping, what I'm tossing and why. Okay. So first let's start off with the squeeze tubes. Ooh. This is all of my squeeze tubes. I hope you can see my TV that I'm airplane to is having a little bit of a delay. So sorry if it takes me a minute to adjust. Um, but let's go through these. They are kind of sort of sorted by color. Um, so it should make this a little bit quicker. This is a mirror I got from Queen Expression. Um, it's really cute. I've always wanted like a cute little handheld mirror. Um, but yeah, so basically we're gonna take everything out this bin to start separate it into colors and then I'll pick from each color what I'm keeping. So let's do that first. And mixed in with the squeeze tubes, I also have like lip balms and scrubs. So that is everything out of the bin. 
Um, and as you can see, this is just way too much lip gloss for one person, and this is only the squeeze tube. This doesn't even include the wand tubes. So let's get to it. Let's separate um, chapsticks and then my color. So next we have, this is a glitter that I was actually given in one of my orders, but it's kind of covered in oil. And I also don't really do makeup that involves glitter. It's really pretty though, really super pretty. Um, I'll probably end up giving this away since it's never even been opened, I don't think. Um, I'll wipe off the you know lip gloss residue that's on it and I'll probably give it to my best friend or something, she might use it. This is a lip scrub from Corey's Beauty Bar. Corey's Beauty Bar. I actually really like some of her lip glosses, but this lip scrub, my biggest gripe with it is that there is glitter in it. So when you use it, your whole face ends up covered in glitter. So that is gonna go. And then I also don't remember, I, I remember where this came from, but the name of the company is eluding me right now. I honestly, I know the company, but my brain is not putting two and two together right now. Um, but I have this in stick version also. I might give this to my boyfriend. He might want it um, since it is pot lipstick, uh, lipstick, uh, lip balm. Um, so I'll put that to the side and see if he wants it. Um, otherwise, it'll probably go to my sister or somebody like that. And another thing, I know I keep popping in and saying, you know, and another thing, and another thing, but. Um, the stuff I'm getting rid of, some of it is going directly in the trash because it's super old. And, um, the rest of it, um, I'm going to offer to my sister or my best friend. Otherwise it's going in the trash because it's not really sanitary to give it to anybody else. Okay. Next lip balms. Cause these are going to be the easiest for me to let go of. Cause some of these I haven't even used. Um, this lip balm right here was from, I want to say y -Chan. Y Chan Beauty, uh, Y Chan Cosmetics. It was a really good lip balm. This is what it looks like. I'm waiting for my screen to catch up. I don't know why this thing's so delayed today. Um, but yes, this lip balm was actually really good and I kind of used it to the balm and then it started melting. So it's actually going in the garbage just because it's been well used. Um, but this um, 10 out of 10 is a fantastic lip balm. Um, but it's got to meet its demise today. Um, this lip balm is from Blue Gloss, Blue Gloss Cosmetics. It was just okay. The lip glosses are much better in my opinion. Um, but this lip balm was just okay. And it kind of had a weird like aftertaste. Um, so despite the fact that I love the company in general, um, this is going to go also. Um... See, this is the stick version of that pot version. Um, this is the stick version. I wish the, is the company on here? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yes, this was Aliza Lips. And they have one big showstopper that if you've seen my video, like uh, you have seen, I said she should like format her whole company around this one product because it's so good. It's not this one, this one's just 
you know an average chapstick um so i'm also going to put this to the side because i've never used uh this chapstick because i was more interested in the lip glosses so i'm gonna put it to the side to give away um all of these pouty cosmetics chapsticks um i tried like two of them they're fine they're nothing revolutionary um i'm probably gonna get rid of all of them just because they don't really speak to me like i don't really need much chapstick because i'm more of a go directly to lip gloss rather than chapstick first type person um but they were fine i'll probably give them to my sister or my best friend um but yeah they i don't know there's not really much to say about them but there's that this right here trisha pilot cell lip balm i don't think i ever used this one either just because i don't know about y'all but some stuff like just the sound of it bothers me like i didn't think i would like it so i didn't use it because it is orange coffee flavored i don't like coffee flavored stuff most of the time unless it's like actual like coffee but orange coffee sounds kind of weird and so my brain just couldn't get around it the lip gloss they have is really good one of them's in my purse right now but i just wasn't feeling this like flavor combination so this is gonna go into my giveaway pile um this is another aliza lips um lip balm and like this is what i'm saying like you can see this thing isn't even opened yet um and like i said her i tried her lip gloss the lip glosses was really what i was focused on so this kind of just got lost in the cracks uh this company actually sent me a lot of things and i actually do have like you're gonna see their name pop up a lot um but this is just one thing i don't need to keep um i'm not saying it's bad i'm not saying it's good i'm just saying i don't need it all right this is um Corey's beauty bar uh chapstick i want to say i had more of these honestly i don't know where they went it wasn't bad it was actually pretty good but i cannot remember one of the ones i got was kind of gritty so i think that steered me away from both of them because i can't really remember which was which so this is gonna go in the garbage just because i can't remember if this was the bad one or the good one um but like i said her lip glosses is where she shines and i'll show you some of those when we get to them and then this was also this is from Mion cosmetics i'm sorry in advance if i'm saying this wrong usually for like the individual videos i'll you know go and like look up how to say this name or i'll even ask the person who owns the place you know how do i say your name correctly but at this point i've just kind of forgotten so i'm sorry in advance if i said it wrong but this is really bomb it's crazy because this is such a simple formula but it does exactly what i needed to do i want to say it's literally just like vaseline yeah petroleum jelly peppermint oil coconut oil and vitamin e and that's all i need in my lip balm right here is like one of my favorite lip balms and it probably is to do because it's like a little squeeze tube and i prefer that to like the sticks kind um but this i'm definitely going to keep because it is currently my favorite lip balm okay sorry if the angle changed my boyfriend called me and i'm filming on my phone because that's another thing the camera i bought to use for this channel yeah the mainframe uh, not the mainframe the motherboard fried so yeah that's done for and now i have to buy another one so i'm back to using my phone but that's okay um like i was saying sorry if the angle changed it is what it is so next we're gonna move on to the white i'm gonna do clear and pink glass just because those are the biggest section so i'm gonna go move on to the white so let me see let me see let me see okay so these two are ones one of these i got from a company and one of them i made myself i want to say this is the one i made but either way both of them are going in the garbage um they are first of all they're unmarked so i don't really know where they came from 
Um, so I don't really have an interest in keeping them. Um, uh, I would, I really want to say this is the one I made. Um, and you know, if I want to make it again, I will. Um, but yeah, they're both just like, this one's a little like iridescent, but like I said, they're both going to go in the garbage. Cause I don't know what company they're from. If they are from a company, therefore I have no idea how long I got them. So there's that they're going to garbage. So that leaves these four. Um, let's see this one, Asia Wells kids collection. I think this is the one, one of the ones I recently got. I want to say this is one of the ones that was included in the video that I watched back and didn't end up liking. Um, but this isn't the one I tried from them. I tried something else from them that I liked. Um, but this one is going to go in the giveaway pile just because it's basically like a milky white, which I don't even think it really has shimmer. It has a little bit of shimmer, but I'm just not feeling the way it's looking. Um, so instead of using it and, um, you know, contaminating it, I'm just going to give it away. Um, because I simply white lip glosses, unless they're like nice and really sparkly are not really my thing because they just look straight up clear no no tint nothing they don't really give anything extra so i don't really feel the need to hold on to it so that's going to be given away um this one is grand cosmetics i want to say i've used it once and once again it's just a matter of white lip glosses are not my favorite because you know I just need them to be ultra sparkly because I would prefer to use them as a topper and white lip glosses in general don't really do much for me. So this one's going to go for that reason and this one is also going to go for that same reason because this one is borderline clear but it's still white and I just simply don't need them. Um, and yeah, so these two are going to go. This one I think I'm going to keep because I like the way the glitter is looking in here. Um, this is from Ashne Cosmetics. Um, I like the way the glitter is looking in here. And if I wanted a glitter topper, um, this might be one I reach for. And plus, I got rid of all the other ones, so I might as well just keep one. So Ashne Cosmetics is the one that wins as far as the only white lip gloss I'm keeping. <laughs> Next, let's do the oranges. These are going to be really easy. This is gonna go, um, this is one of, I wanna say this is one of the first lip glosses I was ever sent. Um, it wasn't bad, um, I just don't really use it. This is one I made, I don't remember if I made it or my best friend, but this is one we made and it just wasn't our final formula, so it's too thick for my liking. So that's gonna go in the garbage, plus it's super old at this point. Um, but as far as this one, I kind of want to keep it for memories purpose purposes, but I think I'm gonna keep the green one for that. Um, and yeah, I just don't really use this color, so it's gonna go. Um, I'm gonna give it away though. It's not being thrown out because I feel like I only used it like once or twice. Okay, next is this Queen Expressions. This was one of the ones that was included in the video I did that I ended up not liking. Um, this isn't, is this the one I tried? I don't remember. I remember liking the lip gloss. I remember it was pretty nice. Um, the consistency was good. It just wasn't like blow me out the water, which granted it's kind of hard to do these days because I've tried so much as y'all can see. Um, but, um, it was a good lip gloss. I really liked her branding. Um, she sent me that, um, mirror and she also sent me a pen, which like, I don't know if y'all know, but I like me some stationery. So sending me a pen made this company very memorable. Um, but with all that being said, um, I simply, do I want this? I kind of do. I don't know. This is going to go in the keep pile right now, just because I don't have a definitive want to get rid of it. So I'm just going to keep it for now. Um, and when we get to my wand tubes, I'll see how many oranges I end up with. And if I end up with too many, I'll just keep this one. I mean, I'll get rid of this one. This I'm definitely keeping. This is from Dolled Cosmetics. Um, and I don't know what it is about this. It shows up basically clear, but I really like the scent on it, even though it can get kind of sickly sweet. But I really like the formula on it too. So this, I don't think I'll ever get rid of. I think I used the whole thing. Um, 
and then you know be okay because i was going to go and purchase from her again once um but her website was down for like i want to say like a month so i don't know what's going on with that but at least i have this one this one's really good i'm gonna keep it like until it runs out or gets really good so that's a definite keep okay so next let's do these random blues and purples and stuff so these two are ones me and my best friend made when we were first testing our lip gloss formulas which means they're super duper old which means they're both getting thrown out this is one we made this is when we re, uh we tried using olive oil as one of the oils which the color i like the glitter i like but the olive oil is too strong um and although i did use it a few times the olive oil just <sighs> it's just too much so plus it's super duper old so it's going in the garbage this is another one i got from aliza lips is this still have the shrink wrap on it yeah so this is another one i got from aliza lips i'm gonna give it away because it does still have the shrink wrap on it um so it's still brand new um it's really pretty colors but um i already have a lot uh from her that is opened and used so i'll go ahead and toss this one well give this one away not toss it and then this is the one I'm gonna keep for memories purpose purposes. This is from Courageous Beauty. It was one of the it was basically the first lip gloss I was sent for free um, when uh, starting this channel, which was a really big moment for me. So I'll probably keep this one forever, um, especially since I did get rid of the brown one. I'll have this one. Plus, this was my preferred one of the two anyway. So I'm definitely gonna keep this. Here's another little sample that somehow made it through the cracks. Um, it's getting tossed. <laughs> Next, let's do these yellows and golds. Um, this, I want to say, came from Planetal Cosmetics. And I think this was one I didn't like. And you know, now that I'm thinking of it, I think that other one that was unmarked came from Planetal Cosmetics too. So, I don't know maybe she started labeling her stuff now i don't know i haven't seen um any posts from her recently um but you know how instagram is they decide you don't want to see anything anymore and so they stop showing you but whatever um but i remember not really liking the formula on this um so i'm gonna go ahead and toss it um but i remember really liking her branding and her company as a whole so i think i'm gonna give them another look the only thing that's been kind of like stopping me is because she is located in like the uk or something so it's a little bit more like time and money to like get her stuff because it's coming from overseas but if you're located over there or anywhere close to her you should definitely give her a try even though this wasn't one of my favorites um she did take my video as constructive criticism which they all are and said that she was going to work on making um her lip gloss is more of a consistent formula because i now that i'm thinking about it um that was my problem is that this one and the other one weren't the same um but yeah so check her out if you want to um but this one is going i think i'm gonna just toss it because i didn't really like this one all right this was another one of our starter prototypes um i actually really like this one but like i said super duper old um so it's going in the trash let's see and my phone is dying it's okay we're gonna do this with 20% left. It's okay. Um, Why Chan Cosmetics. This one was good. I'll keep it because I simply don't have another one in this color right now. And I really like this brand. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Ashne Cosmetics. This one is going to go because I just don't need it. But I'm going to give it away because I don't even think I ever used this one. So that's going in the giveaways. Uh, Miss Sexy Chocolate Tea Lip Gloss. Is this? I think this is one of the ones I just recently got, and that was part of the video that I did that I ended up not liking. Um, but I don't think this is the one I tried. But like I said, I think I'm gonna give this one away because it is basically brand new. Um, and I'll show y'all the one I did try because once I see it, I'll remember it. Uh, but this one is gonna get given away next the pinks 
Okay, so let's see. I'm going to start rapid firing through these because I feel like I'm giving too much explanation. Don't mind, this is just a water stain. I literally write this down with cleaner before I had started. But um, I feel like I'm giving too much explanation and um, because I'm trying to like not hurt people's feelings. But at this point, my phone is dying, so I need to speed it up. So this right here was a prototype. It's going in the trash. This was a prototype. It's going in the trash. This was a prototype. It's, actually, no, this was, I don't know. This is going in the trash. It was a prototype. Uh, let's see. Ashne, Ashne, Ashne. Um, they're all basically brand new because she sent me a lot of them too. Um, so they're all going to be given away. Um, these like duo color ones, I never really care for. Um, it's just a personal preference. Um, and this color I just don't need. So all of these are being given away. Um, Child's Play Cosmetics. Both of these were fine, but I'm gonna keep... Because mm. here's another thing, I don't really use squeeze tubes often. I'm gonna keep both of these for now. They might get cut later, but I'm gonna keep both of them for now. Um... Meon Cosmetics Pink Frost Gloss. This was not bad at all, but I don't need it, so I'm gonna give it away. Fuchsia Kiss from Beautiful Beautiful Winks. Yeah, uh, don't need it, so I might toss this one. I don't remember if I used it or not. If I start swatching stuff, this is gonna get dangerous. So uh, I'm gonna put it in the giveaway for now, cause like I said, it's going to my sister or my best friend, so they'll decide if they want it or not. So that's going to giveaway. And then this one, I will never, ever, ever get rid of. This is Elisa Lips uh, Premium Lip Gloss. I forget what it's called. I want to say, I honestly don't remember what it's called. I'll look it up or something. But this right here is fantastic. It looks clear, but once it goes on your lips, it turns like the perfect shade of pink. I will never get rid of it. I will keep it forever. And when I run out, even if she stops selling it, I will personally contact her to get a new one. So this stuff is fantastic if you try nothing else in the video try this um but yeah so i'm definitely keeping that last but not least the clear glosses this is gonna be super easy this is a broadway gloss from the hair store so i'm definitely gonna keep that um because why not um let's see Dolls cosmetics clear gloss they can go to giveaway because i'm keeping the other one i don't need that i don't know where this came from so it's gone um, this was from Mion. This was fine, but I don't need it. It's gone. Um, this I just got recently, um, Lady Sherry. Um, I'm going to keep this just because it's super cute. And I did, this was one of the ones in that video that I filmed that ended up not liking. Um, but it's super cute and pocket size. So I'm going to keep this one because I did like the formula. Like I said, it was average. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep it because it's super cute. Um, I want to say I just recently got this too in one of the, in one of those companies in the video I ended up hating. Um, but I don't know because it's unmarked, so it's gone. Um, peachy I, uh, peachy lips, tropical punch. I feel like I remember not liking this scent, and uh, now looking at it, I don't really like that it's cloudy, so that's gone. Um, this is from. Lady Sherry also, this is one of the ones I just recently got. And once again, it's super pretty, so I'm gonna keep it, even though I just kept a different clear gloss, but it's super pretty, so I'm gonna keep it. And same thing with this, the Queen Expressions. It's super pretty. There are sprinkles in here, look at that. How cute is that? So I'm gonna keep it. So in the future, um, if you wanna know if I'll keep your stuff or not, make it super cute and I won't be able to let go. There we go. So these are gonna go to giveaway. Yay! So let me show you. This is everything that's going in the garbage. It's not a whole lot. That's going in the garbage. These. All of this is being given away. So these my 
best friend and my sister are gonna be able to pick out of and decide if they wanna keep any of it. And I'm gonna put them in this basket even though I'm gonna return this to Target. And then let's show you what I'm keeping. So I'm keeping just these. Of the squeeze tubes, this is what I am keeping. That's a pretty good selection if you ask me. Now let's move on to the wand tubes because that's what's gonna be hard for me to let go of because that's what I use all the time. 